Get a world of art. Coming up now for you. Hi, dears. Welcome. Welcome again to this wonderful talk show program titled The Stage. I am Elias Banks, your host for this wonderful program. Here with me, I have two wonderful guests that happens to be the cast of the movie titled My Bestie. My Bestie is my sweetie. So these casts are going to discuss with us their personal life, professional life, and also they are going to answer few questions, I mean funny questions to be precise. So without wasting your time, I am going to present to you now the two wonderful cast of my bestie, Madame Gifty Rena and Mr. Alpha Tolly, who play the role of Mom and Mr. Kenneth in the movie. So without wasting any time, I, I present to you Madame Gifty Rena. So can you please introduce yourself to the viewers? My name is Gifty Rena and I'm a student from Farabi College, the most prestigious university of Sierra Leone, and I'm studying Gender and Development Studies, year two. And Mr. Kenneth? <laughs> Will you sit down before I cast you out of my class for the rest of the semester? <laughs> you naughty fool. <laughs> Mr. Kenneth? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, viewers and uh, uh, followers um, in Sierra Leone and around the globe, this is how I say a warm you know greetings to all of you and um of course my name is alpha umar suleiman Tholi, a graduate from jala university and i studied bsc honors agricultural economics and um for now i'm a staff of the Keta world of art acting in the capacity of the director of administration over to you sir that's very wonderful mr kenneth and Ms. <coughs> Gifty Rena. i mean ma'am <laughs> I know fans there must be saying now that Mr. Kenneth will never stop using jargons. <laughs> uh, so, um, Madam Gifty Rena, I go to you now. Okay. Um, um, at first, my first question for you here is, I want you to tell us your, your education background. Wow. Yes. Well, like I said, I'm still studying because I'm currently in university okay. and I've not yet graduated but by God's grace and I know for sure that I'm going to graduate with first class. Wow, yeah. that's very wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's very good. Thank you very much. Yes, Mr. Kenneth, can you also follow the trend? Well, like I said, I'm now a graduate but uh, should I take you for my cradle stage of education onto <laughs> this level or I should just what what exactly do you want to hear about my educational career or I, background? I want to know everything concerning your background. Alright, alright. Well I started gradually at um, the Lady Patricia Kaba Memorial Preparatory School right there at Hill Station Freetown in which I was able to go through the National Primary Schools Examination, NPIC, and I came out successfully. Later, I proceeded to the Services Junior Secondary School, Wilberforce Barracks, and J1, J2, and J3. Successfully again, I, I made it, and I came out with um, the best becker for that year. And interestingly, I was also a school prefect. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I finally proceeded to the Prince of Wales Senior Secondary School, King Tom. And can you imagine? Mm -hmm. we, we started SS4. <laughs> 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 I was supposed to have taken uh, my WAS exam. That SS4 happens to be. Can you imagine? I think it started 2014. 2014. 2014. Yes. yes. 2014. Yeah, yeah. I, imagine 2012, I was in SS2. 2013, I was hoping to have taken the WASC exam, and they said, no, go to SS4. Okay. Interesting. So That's very wonderful. At, at the Prince of Wales, again, I was also a school prefect, okay. you know, and I did, you know, business, or what we say, commercial. 
So we did the carry down, brought down, and brought forward. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Mr. Kellett. Anytime I see you, man, you make me laugh. <laughs> Especially when I, when I think of the movie, My Bestie. Really? <laughs> you are very hard in class <laughs> with your students. Those yeah. guys are very unserious. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, very, very unserious. Ah. <laughs> they have some, some kind of flimsy questions to ask just to disturb the, the serenity of the class. Wow. Can you imagine? <laughs> so sometimes I have to... Pass, do you hear that? I, see, <laughs> <laughs> I have to sometimes, you know, do this in order to, to align and straighten, you know, mm. their mental horizon. Wow. Put them on track. Tell them that, oh, you are here for something. You are not here to, you know, to manifest or, or, or perpetrate some kind of recalcitrant mm. behaviors. Okay. Behaviors that are not even tantamount to their course of study, okay. you see. So, <laughs> that's the reason why I tend to be very hard. Mr. Kenneth! Not, I want to correct um, the, the viewers that yeah. um, Mr. Kenneth is not a, a, a wicked man. Remember, Mr. Kenneth had a, a best friend, is that not so? Yes. And that best friend is? Jamal Buya. Jamal Buya, of course. <laughs> so, is he a bad man? No. <laughs> No, you're actually not bad. You you're see, not Mr. Bad, Kenneth yeah. is not a bad man. It's just that Mr. Kenneth's you know, law for education yeah. is in fault. As this man rightly said in his poem, The Village Schoolmaster, Oliver Goldsmith, mm. he said the law of the village schoolmaster has for learning. He said the law he bought to learning was in fault. Because of what? He's very strict. You see the problem in, in, in our society? When you tend to try to make things go straight, they say, oh, this is not a bad man. <laughs> Mr. Kenneth, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, now we go to you. Mom, Madam Gifty Rena. <laughs> so um, I have um, this question for you. Can you please tell your viewers out there, I mean your fans, how actually you come into acting? <laughs> well, it's actually a funny story because I was going for Riasa, mm -hmm. not even for the character, mom. The character was given to someone else, a girl, well, I can't remember her name, mm -hmm. but because of my consistent and I was able to cast as mom in my best thing. Wow. Yeah. That's very wonderful. Very wonderful. You but, know, um, and it actually felt good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Even though I was having one or two breakdowns, but I actually able to bring out the character of mom in me. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah. That's very good. You really show that you, you are brilliant. Yeah, I am. <laughs> and I really enjoyed your roles. <laughs> thank you. And I believe your fans out there also enjoyed all and the roles. And thank you also. <laughs> That's very wonderful of you. Um, um, we go to you again. Professor Sa. Oh, Mr. Yes. Kenneth. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, Mr. Kenneth, you, you are very matured in your English. Yes. Because the, the way you play the role, you know, the role you are given in the movie My Best, you actually play that role very excellent. And I believe most of your fans out there, they are really amazed, you know. They are really, really impressed with your actions. And um, I, I must... I must shake your hands that I'm also thank impressed. You. Thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. Yeah, so Mr. Kenneth, um, can you also tell us how you, you actually came into acting of movies? Mm -hmm. Interesting question. <laughs> um, it all started back then in the university, Jala University, to be precise. Myself and Mohammed Alpha Sultan Ketan, one, who is the Jamal Buya? Okay, Jamal Buya. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, there was a time we met along, you know, the way. We were having, you know, a privileged conversation. Yeah, and yeah. Um, this acting stuff came up. And he asked me, oh, Tholi, can you act? And I said, yes, I can act. Do you love acting? I said, yes. I love it so very much. And he said, act for me. You know? He just said, act. <laughs> and I did something. Imagine, he didn't you know, prescribe any scene. Yeah, yeah. 
that I should work with or work on. He just say, act, and I, I demonstrated something. And since then, he noted that. So the time he had written the story, My Bestie, and rehearsals were going on, you know. So there was a time I was in my little corner, you know. I received a call. Tolly, are you home? And I said, yes. What are you doing? I said, mm, I'm just um, having some rest. And he said, OK, I want to see you now. By then, rehearsals were going on at the Lumley Beach. OK, so I went there. When I went there, interestingly, he gave me a script. And he said, this is the role that I want you to do. I have never acted before. You know, imagine me to do a, a, a lecturer's role. Oh, interesting. I said, oh. I asked myself, in Creole, me, I go able this thing. And later I said, okay, let me try it. And I tried to recall the behaviors of my lecturers back then in the university. Most of them were kind of, you know, very stern. When I say stern, I mean very strict. So I decided to, to mimic okay. their characters and bring the Mr. Kenneth, okay. you know, out for viewers or for <coughs> fans to see exactly the reality of the character. So this is, you know, basically how I was able, <clears throat> you know, to start or embark on my career of acting. Okay. You never expected it? No, no, no. Uh, I was never expecting it. But something has been telling me that I am an entertainer. Yeah. yeah. And your destiny came calling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's good. So um, we go to you again, ma'am. Yeah. Madam Gift Tirena. Uh, um, now, I, I believe that the My Best movie happens to be your first movie, right? Yeah, yeah. And the role which you are given to act was actually not meant for you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, how really are you feeling, being that, you know, are you feeling in your first scene of the movie, My Bestie, because it happens to be your first movie. Yeah. Right? So how do you feel at that moment while, while acting on that first scene of yours? Well, it was difficult because the director was having challenges okay. on my side as well because that was my actual first time in being in front of a camera. And you, would, you know what they say <laughs> when you're in front of a camera, it's like all the frightiness in you start to come <laughs> <Yeah>. out. <laughs> So yeah, it was really, really difficult. It we was really good. Very sweaty profusion. <laughs> <laughs> like I just came from the bathroom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, the encouraging words from the writer himself, okay. who, who happens to be Jamal in the movie, it was very motivating. Okay, the movie was actually written by Jamal. Exactly, Jamal. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> yes. Because he was actually the one also that recited the poem by Ben. Ex exactly, exactly. So, so the entire thing originated from that poem. Exactly. That's so he had to believe that I can do it. He had confidence in me. And he put me in the best position saying that I can do this. And why not? If someone believes in you, you have to give your best and prove that I can do it. And that's what. I think coops me up. Yeah. And I also believe you can do it. Yeah, I, I can. <laughs> Your fans out there believe you yes, can do it. Yes, yes, I can do it. And you are ready to do it Ex more and exactly, more. Exactly, exactly. Your goals will be achieved, yeah? Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Kenneth. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. My best so, friend. What next? <laughs> <laughs> you are Mr. Always ready, right? Ever ready. Cock and fire. <laughs> it's like Kenneth. Oh, yes. Believe me, there are certain jargons you used in that movie, my brother. In fact, I, 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 I moved from where I was sitting. Though. Really? Yes. The first time I started watching that movie. Oh. Uh, that movie was really interesting. It was really interesting. So, um, do you actually have any other upcoming projects? You know? A lot. Wow. A lot. We have a lot, or oh, I have a lot, a, a lot, a lot of, you know, Can projects. Can you just let, ah. you know, let I, your fans out there hear it? My fans, <laughs> my fans, 
Oh my God! Get ready for something great, yeah. Wow. <laughs> something great, okay? Something great is coming, and it is still cooking. Wow! Mm. Wow! Wow! Mm. I don't know if I should say this. <sighs> Can I say it? You are free to say everything. Okay. <laughs> now, after being a lecturer, watch out for stingy man. Wow! Wow, wow, wow. Everything I do is very attractive. <laughs> man. It's coming very soon. <laughs> okay, and no problem. Many more. Stingy no, man. Not and only many more. Not only stingy <laughs> man, but many more. Uh, okay. Fans, do you hear that? <laughs> stingy man and many more. Just imagine the kind of terms you'll be hearing here. <laughs> 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 uh, so, uh, Madam Victorina, yeah. I also shoot this same question to you. Mm -hmm. uh, are you also expecting other projects coming on board? Yeah, definitely. Because I believe your fans out there, they will be itching, you know, to e see Exactly, others. exactly. Okay, okay. So, can you just tell us? Uh, well, I can say in specific because we are, we have a lot of lot of scripts in our maze, so we have to go by one, you know. Mm -hmm. And but definitely, definitely, uh, we have a lot of moving coming on. Okay. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, wow. a lot. <laughs> and talking of the movie, my bestie, there is this actual scene, you know. I watch, I think it was episode one. Mm. You know, yes, I think. But during them, before that, before that scene, um, I saw Jamal and one other fellow making arguments in a restaurant for for Susan. Mm. Yes, and after that scene, I think on that particular scene, Susan was really annoyed mm. because of the actions, you know, of um, Jamal. Mm -hmm. Jamal was very angry. Of, you know, the he man. was crazy in love. Very crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he was really angry actually. You know, you never want to see other man close to Susan. Mm. And from that scene, I think Susan was very angry due to the behavior he puts up. So, and after that scene, Jamal actually went to Susan's place. I mean, your residence. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you and Susan. Susan was there, yeah. And at that particular scene, you are playing with Susan's hair. Uh, yeah. Right? Jamal went there to beg. Well, you know, when Jamal was begging. Your eyes was actually on Jamal, you know. <laughs> Something tells me that you know, before even the, the other the other episodes coming, something tells me that you are actually feeling something for Jamal. Imam so tell me, we, we, are you actually crushing on Jamal? <laughs> you both falling in love? <laughs> well, mom was <laughs> not guilty. <laughs> yeah, not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> mom was and I think in that particular scene, when Jamal came to beg Susan mm -hmm. for forgiveness because of the way he reacted, and I believe in that particular in that particular scene, mm -hmm. what drew Mom to actually feel jealous because that was actually Mom's reaction, her face, <laughs> <laughs> because she was desperate for that kind of attention. Okay. I think okay. she needed what Jamal and Susan share that bond. I think that was exactly she needed, and <laughs> she doesn't have it. <laughs> so obviously, she was jealous. So she you, was were, jealous. You, you were there to take the place of Susan. Mom was. Susan is not, oh. Mom was. Okay, mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, that's very wonderful. So, be stuck in it. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, man, you, were, you were very hard on that movie. <laughs> I was not hard, but Mr. Really Kenneth hard was hard. Really hard in that movie, man. But Mr. Kenneth was hard, eh? Yeah. He was not hard. I'm a very cool man. <laughs> very simple, but hard to deal with. Because, you know, your reactions on that, in that particular movie, it seems as if you, you don't have any friend. But actually, there is this particular friend you always boast of, Jamal Ruya. So, what really, you know, do you see in Jamal that makes you you know, love him that much. Jamal is exceptionally good academically. Wow. I mean, <laughs> and um, you see, this is the guy that if I give him an assignment or I give him a test, hmm, he will score, if let's say 30 out of 30, he will get everything. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So why can't I love him? Mm -hmm. 
You know, that is an encouragement. So if, if let's say Jamal has been performing exceptionally well, yet I don't show that recognition for him, don't you think his performance will gradually you know, diminish or decline? It will. Yeah. yeah. But if I try or I tend to hail him, you know, that particular idea of hailing Jamal will kind of entice or rather catapult other students to work, you know, competitively harder than him. You know, I think um, Susan Vandy, you know, uh, was also trying to, to, to replicate Jamal's uh, um, footstep, but oh, uh, the gap Jamal has been given. <laughs> Very, very Jamal, Jamal in, in, the, in the final exams, that guy is called All Is. He's a wizard. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, this is the ultimate reason why I, I, I love him so much. He's my yeah. best friend, anyway. When Jamal was actually a superhuman. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so, we go to you, Madam Gift Tirena, the mom. Yeah. <laughs> Now, um, being that my bestie happens to be your first movie, is that not so? Yeah. So, how really do you see yourself now out there? You know, how do you see yourself in the midst of outsiders? Because for now, we see you as celebrity. Your fans mm -hmm. out there see you as celebrity. Mm -hmm. When you go out there now in public, how do you see yourself among your among others? Well. <laughs> One thing the country happens to find myself, that celebrity narrative is actually not happening now. But I believe times goes on, we're able to change narrative of people out there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. But it is actually the same normal. It is the same normal, yeah, yeah. See yourself yeah. normal. Yeah, but actually be different because <laughs> I'm, oh, I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, there's a difference. There's a different. There is there is different. Difference. Yes. They are see you now as another person, another planet. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now, um, what religion do you belong to? I'm a Christian. Christian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does the Christianity actually disturbs you from your activity, from your acting activities? Nah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. Not, it doesn't okay, okay. No problem. And. Mr. Kenneth, you are also a fervent Muslim. A fervent Muslim. Oh, yes. Wonderful. And underline that fervent Muslim. Fervent Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> so you, the acting does not disturb you as well? Well, looking at my, my character, mm -hmm. you know, it, every character or every actor or actress, you know, most times has a specific character that that is being designed okay. for him or her okay. and uh, i'm being designed as an educationist as an erudite you know scholar so i believe my my roles would not be kind of you know morally and you know religiously unacceptable because i'm here as an entertainer you know to teach people out there. There are people, you know, who, who called me personally to thank me that the lesson I delivered in, is it episode two? Episode. Literature. Literature yeah. I taught, you know, rhyme scheme. Okay, okay. You see, okay. People said they learned a lot. So you see, and teaching again in Islam mm -hmm. is something they call Sadaka to Jaria. Wow. Easy, <laughs> easy. I did a check. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's uh, that is continued um, what um, blessings or goodness. Okay. When you teach or you, or, or you make road, you build schools or you or, or you do other things. Okay. That's what we call sadaka to Jaria. Okay. Thank you very much, it's Mr. Kenneth. Thank you so much. Um, thank you very much, viewers. At this point, we are going to hold on this program for now and go for a very little break. We will be back for you soon. Stay connected.
and continue to pop in your beautiful comments. Thank you very much. What is going on here? What's what's going on here? Calm down, man. Don't shout. I want you to take good care of Susan. She's actually not in a good state. Hmm? I will. Okay. Hey, Diaz. Welcome you again to this wonderful program. I still remain your presenter, Elias Banks. Without wasting your time, we continue. Mr. Kenneth and Madam Giftirena. Ma'am, to be precise. <laughs> so, ma'am, um, who actually was your favorite cast in the movie, my bestie? <laughs> um, <laughs> it was my crush, Jamal. <laughs> yeah. Why do you laugh? <laughs> because she looks funny to you, eh? <laughs> no, I think when I... you... When... <laughs> When you're asking mom about Jamal, okay. you, you're, you're supposed to expect that kind of reaction. This reaction. Exactly. Wow. I can see you are yeah. melting <laughs> saying Jamal. Uh, for real, you like yeah, this guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him a lot. Like him? A lot. A lot? Yeah. Even apart from movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. And he happens to be my best car cast because of the way he puts himself in Jamal character. I mean, he brings out Jamal character really himself. Jamal. Exactly. Okay. The brokenness and the kind of love he has for his best friend, my bestie, Suzanne, and his affection. He accepted the fact that they cannot have that kind of intimacy relationship. And he accepted that and moved on, but he still loves her. He was sincere with his love here for her. Okay, fans, do you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> do you hear that? And so this is the reason why mom here loves Jamal. Yeah. Even probably, though... I believe this is the reason why you fall for him. Yeah, 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 <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay. And even though, even though uh, uh, mom knew that Jamal was completely in love with okay. Susan, okay. He, he, she was aware of that, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. But Jamal stayed true to mom. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, madam. Um, now we go to the teacher himself, the, le the, the, the lecturer. Oh, yes. <laughs> hey, and you are, you, you, you are the, the lecturer, you are the head of the class. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I believe, apart from Jamal being your friend, you must have this particular cast you love, right? The way, I mean, the way he acted his roles and all other actions he took, or he or she took, because not only male there. So who actually was your cast, your best cast to be Uncle Amin. Uncle Amin? Yeah. <laughs> A very wicked what uncle. Very, wicked, yes. very unserious. Well, so that is the only reason why... I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I actually like the way Uncle Amin, you know, acts, uh, act that role. Imagine. Mm. Being an uncle to kids whose parents have passed away okay. and who left, you know, mm -hmm. some basic properties. Okay. Uncle, I mean, he himself in inherited everything. Okay. And <laughs> instead of, you know, giving access to, the, to, to Jamal and his mm -hmm. sister to, to make use of the properties, he hold on to everything. I can't imagine. Can you imagine? Um, Jamal, Jamal leaves leave school. school. <laughs> Can you imagine? Jamal leaves school. I've told you, leaves school. Well, interestingly, there's a particular scene again where <laughs> Jamal, you know, visited the house, mm. and Jamal gave money to to his sister to to prepare food. Okay. Uncle Amin Chenjo. <laughs> Jamal, but Namika Betele is serious. So he, you know. He started, you know, hailing Jamal. Can you imagine? <laughs> so I, I really appreciate and love his character anyway. Okay. I love him so much. Okay. I hope he's watching and I give him kudos, Uncle Amin. <laughs> so Mr. Kenneth, how actually do you see the entire movie? 
was it so enticing to you? Or do you, apart from you being a cast there, was the movie really attractive? Was it very nice to you? Very, very attractive. You love the story, Very, right? very enchanting. Wow. You know, very, very exceptional, if I should say. Because this is the first Sierra Leonean episode movie mm -hmm. that is a typically, you know, a poetry movie. I love the poetry Can lines. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> so you see, and interestingly, the lecturer himself again taught poetry. Wow. So this movie is purely education. Okay. Well, so, though some people were not interested or are not interested okay. in, in, in those areas, but they are only interested in the bestie stuff. Okay. How the bestie, you know, um, you know, went between Jamal and Susan. But really, the movie is educative. Yeah. If and only if people think and believe it is. But I believe, and, and I believe you too. Believe. I believe. Oh, yes. <laughs> How about you, ma'am? Ma'am, believe. Okay, that's very really wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Um, now, I believe all the cast used in that particular movie actually belongs to a production, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what's the name of this production? Keta Wall of Arts production. Keta Wall of, Wall of Arts For production. For short, we say K-W-A. K-W-A. Oh, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> That's very wonderful. K-W-A. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Do you guys only do movie stuff there? No. No, there no, no. Other... Poetry. Poetry. Motiv and I... And I'm a poet too. Wow. <laughs> you happen to be a poet. I believe, ma'am, too. Yes, and I'm also a poet. <laughs> Motivational. Yes. Uh, I'm speaking yes. also. Do you just hear that? Yeah. It means Mr. Kenneth is a poet. Is it must it? Be in real life. In real life. <laughs> in real life, Mr. Kenneth is a poet. Anyway. It simply means you are going to be entertained before living here. Like seriously. Yes, like seriously. Why I didn't tell you I was going to, to recite any poem here. You just said you are a poet. And so. <laughs> At least, please. <laughs> okay. So we do poetry, okay. motivational speeches, mm. um, movies. What again? We also we also have a photography studio. Photography. Yeah, studio. yeah. Also a musical, musical studio. studio also. I can't wait. In fact, my birthday is very close now. I can't wait. They are also that surprise, uh, surprise something, you, yeah. Something, please, 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 something, please, something very interesting. <laughs> about, <laughs> okay, okay. Something very interesting about mm -hmm. the studios. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! If you see the graphic of the photo, uh, it is just wow. <gasps> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I must be seeing that. You can ask, ma'am. <laughs> 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 it's enough. That's why. Right. In fact, the, the only way you've thought about that studio, I'm very very curious to go there now. Very curious. You can and go, I can yeah. wait for my shots. Yeah, we can wait to have you. <laughs> All right, that's good. That's very wonderful. Mom. Yeah. So um, you are now a lady, right? Yeah. A, a beautiful lady. I am. Not that I don't know that you are a lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know very well. So what advice do you have for your colleague females out there? You know? What yeah. advice do you have, you know? concerning positive changes in their lives, what advice do you really have for them? Well, the, I have a short message out there to my fellow ladies. Life is short. Life is short. Every day, time is ticking. And you, if you have a particular career you want to pursue, don't let your gender be a barrier to you. Our gender should not limit us to carry out or pursue our dreams. Mm -hmm. All we need to do is put ourselves together, get sassy, get bossy, and be the lady you're meant to be. Because yes. I know I'm a great woman. You, I, you, anyone, you don't need to say it. I've already known it. I am a great woman. So you, you also have to accept what you're capable of, your full potential, and show the world what you're made of. And because I know you're made of great, great things. Don't limit yourself. That's all I have. That's very wonderful, ma'am. Yeah. Thank you very much for that beautiful advice. Yeah. I believe my daughter out there also <laughs> have learned from this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't have daughter. <laughs> okay, we go to you. Mr. Kenneth, what no advice do you have for majority? You know, I mean, 
both male and female out there, what advice do you have in order to change their, their life for the good? Viewers in Sierra Leone and around the globe, this is coming from Mr. Kenneth Alpha Tholi. Now, as a youth, as a young man or a young woman, I believe you must have something in you that God has given you, okay? But you are yet to identify this, um, this particular thing. Then, sometimes try to embark on something we call meditation. Mm -hmm. Sometimes wake up very early in the morning after saying your prayers, you can sit, be quiet, and, and if possible, close your eyes. You will see a lot of things in your mind's eye. Or sometimes again, wake up in the middle of the night, begin to like meditate on these things. If you continue doing this, I, I believe you'll be able to realize your potential. And again, if you want to be great, also in the area of speaking or writing or virtually any other career why i i cited an example about writing and speaking because i'm already into it okay so i believe you that is watching me you have your own you know career or talent given to you by the almighty so try to identify it after you've identified and after identifying this talent try to develop it train consistently if you if you are consistent in your training then you'll be as excellent as Mohamed Kalon in Sierra Leone the footballer one of the greatest footballer ever in Sierra Leone okay i i believe you you are expecting me to say Ronaldo i won't Mohamed Kalon <laughs> i'm so proud of him Mr. Okay. Kenneth. oh yes and if you continue to do this thing, my brothers and sisters out there, I want to assure you, success is yours. And finally, don't forget God. Whatever you do, don't forget Him. You know, He's always there. <laughs> you know, whether you call Him, you don't call Him, He's there for you. So, but that doesn't mean you should be reluctant. You should be kind of, you know, bossy to your Creator. Oh, no, no, no. If you do that, then I'm afraid something will be waiting for you in the hereafter. But I'm afraid I'm not here as a preacher, please. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you'll take heed from what I've said. I remain Mr. Kenneth. Thank you very much, Mr. Kenneth. <laughs> Up to now, I'm still admiring you. You know, there is this particular thing in you guys while watching the movie, My Bestie, especially you and Jamal Boya. When I see it to watch you guys, I feel inspired with your words. You see? Mm -hmm. es yes, especially when you use the positive vibes. You know, these vibes that can change the life of people for the better. I feel very much inspired. Thank you very much. Sir. It's Thank my pleasure. So it's my yeah, yeah, pleasure. Yeah. So um, at this point, I want you guys to give your last words, you know, to viewers and fans out there. Let's have your, your, your last word, you know as a way of motivating them, you know, inspiring them to do better things in your life. You, you understand what I mean? Madam, yeah. you see? So as they say, maybe first, we start with you, madam. Well, like I said earlier, don't sit down holding yourself back, saying, I'm too young, or I'm a Muslim, or I'm a Christian, or I should not get involved in things that you're so passionate about. When you're passionate about something, it's part of you. Don't limit yourself. Go out there, live your dream. You never can tell. Life is too short to be pretending. Don't pretend who you're not. Be the person you are and show the world that you can do it and you are more than capable of being the person, the best version of yourself. So that's all. Thank you very much, madam. Yeah, thank you. You've really educated people out there. You've educated not just girls, but people, you know, who we are, who, who, who are having an illness in them, you know. Illness 
as a way will that block them, you know, from, from reaching out from to reaching their goals. You've actually inspired them. And I also feel moved by your words. Thank you very much, Mama. You're welcome, Shake sir. Hands for that. Now we go to you, Mr. Kenneth. What do you have to say for them, to them? Viewers, fantastic fans. It's very important for you to continue, you know, trying to work towards your goal. Now, people have been asking me, oh, Alpha Tholi, you are a graduate um, with um, uh, Agric Economics, right? Agricultural Economics. Yes, Agric Economics. And you are into writing and acting. Why didn't you go and look for a job? Job. But I've already, you know, se secured myself a job. Because this acting and writing is a career. Yeah. Oh, yours. We have great writers today in, uh, in Sierra Leone, Joe Ali, you know. Mm -hmm. Education makes him who he is today. He's, he's a professor, yes. I want to believe, okay? And um, he's writing books and he's also what? Teaching. teaching. Mm -hmm. So me being an actor, you understand, and a writer, I'm a teacher. And in real life, I'm a teacher also. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say, try to find yourself, you know, a tutor in, every, or in everything or anything that you think you are having some iota of potential. Yes. <clears throat> when I use the word iota, even it's very small potential that you think you have, try to spark that potential, you know, and kind of develop it, and one day it will graduate to something big. Yeah. And when it's big, they will see you, see you shining out there like a star, as we are shining here <laughs> in the studios. Yes. So, viewers, until another edition, Mr. Kenneth is saying, Bye bye, Gosh. and I love you all. Thank you very Don't forget much, to, Mr. Kenneth. To subscribe <laughs> to this channel yeah. for you to watch more, <laughs> more, and more of yes, Mr. Kenneth. Yeah. And and the stingy man is coming over. <laughs> <laughs> very interesting. Yeah, I can't, you know, I want to gist you, but I won't. I won't gist you. Just hold it there. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you very much, Mr. Kenneth. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so You're much. Welcome. And pleasure. thank you, madam, gift yeah. Renna. Yes, thank you so much, madam. And we can't wait for your upcoming projects. Yeah. Yes. So thank you very much. So viewers, we thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you so very much. We appreciate you all for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit on the red subscribe button down there. We still remain here. To give you the best you want. Thank you very much. I still remain your presenter, Elias Bart. Thank you. Get a world of heart. Coming up now for you